So you see, all I'm trying to say is that the basic common sense about the nature of the world that is influencing most people in the United States today, the fully automatic model, is simply a myth. If you want to say that the idea of God the Father with his white beard on the golden throne is a myth, in the bad sense of the word myth, so is this other one. It's just as phony and has just as little to support it as being the true state of affairs. Why? And let's get this clear. If there is any such thing at all as intelligence and love, and beauty. Well, you found it in other people. In other words, it exists in us as human beings. And as I said, if it is there in us, it is symptomatic of the scheme of things. We are as symptomatic of the scheme of things as the apples are symptomatic of the apple tree or the rose of the rose bush. How do you measure a curve? Well, you treat it as a set of points and uh, in this way uh, measure it. Although it isn't a set of points. There is no such thing as a point. Euclid defined a point as that which has position but no magnitude. I think it's right, isn't it, that in modern mathematics one doesn't define a point at all. You just assume uh, it's an axiom. Eventually it births all things, just as it ends all things. Time, like a living thing, a womb, with a light beyond its skin, the light from creation, 
from the beginning of time and the end, so far away, shining through the dark skin. and understanding. It's also a form of ignorance. The ordinary everyday consciousness that we have leaves out more than it takes in. And because of this, it leaves out things that are terribly important. It leaves out things that would, if we did know them, allay our anxieties and fears and horrors and if we 
could extend our awareness, you see, to include those things that we leave out, we would have a deep interior peace.